1975. Project Apollo is over, NASA has abandoned the moon, but something new is on its way, something wonderful. We would fly out to the high desert, and we'd walk into this hangar, and I saw this brand new spaceship being born. A revolutionary new era in space transportation has just begun. It looked like no spaceship that had ever flown before. But bringing this strange new spacecraft to life would take ambition and plenty of hard work. Everybody was working on a vehicle like a bunch of ants. They were on the engine, they were in the engine. And at times, the future looked far from certain. One of the first times I saw the Enterprise sitting on the back of the 747, I said, oh Lord, we have screwed up. This thing is never going to work. <laughs> it, it didn't look like anything that was going to fly to me. But NASA did what NASA does, making progress against the odds. Would you now roll out Orbiter 101, now christened the Enterprise. From the same team that wrote and created the multi-award winning 13 Minutes to the Moon comes a new independent podcast, 16 Sunsets, the incredible story of the birth of the Space Shuttle program and the tale of an audacious first mission. T minus two hours, five minutes and holding. It was quite an interesting team. You got this famous astronaut, John Young. He had walked on the moon on Apollo 16, and now he was going to be the commander of the very first space shuttle flight. T minus 35 seconds. We're just Bob Crippen was a rookie. Even though he was extremely capable, he, he, he had never flown in space before. I actually shed tears when that thing lifted off. The orbiter was like a butterfly riding a bullet. We knew that you know, they would be pushing the envelope. NASA had never carried out a first launch this way. We'd always tested launches of vehicles previously without a crew aboard. Columbia, who's in your go at throttle up? Roger, go at throttle up. Eight and a half minutes, you're going 17,500 miles an hour. Not another ride like it. 16 Sunsets, the inside story of the Space Shuttle, with me, Kevin Fong, coming soon.